Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this session we are going to integrate Jira with Jenkins. Nowadays people are using Jira for their software development lifecycle and they manage to, they manage their workflow and their workload and their task management to Jira. And also they are using Jenkins for automatic deployment. So people like to do some automation with their event whenever the build runs. They would like to some comment on project or on the relevant tickets. For this sake, Jenkins provided a plugin that actually integrate your Jira with your Jenkins. So whenever you need to update any ticket that is relevant to any bills, you can update it. So let's begin. For this sake, first, we need to install plugin in Jenkins. Go to manage Jenkins. Go to manage plugins in the manage plugins. You would need to go to the available section and search for a plugin called Jira. So I already installed it. So it would be display over here. We need to install this plugin. After the installation, the second thing you need to do is you need to create your access token for this. Go to your account, from which you want to update the ticket I have already account. So what I need to do is I need to go to the avatar of my profile and then go to the account setting. I would need to create an access key. I need to go to the security and need to create an API token. From here, I can create an API token and I can give it, give it a name as Jira Jenkins integration. You can give any name that you would like to. So I can copy. I'm not going to reveal this because this is a sensitive information. I'm just going to copy it. And then I need to go to the Jenkins again. Manage Jenkins. After the installation of the plugin in the configure system, we need to search for Jira. Here, we need to add a side. Okay. Here in the Jira URL, you would need to provide your server URL, just copy and paste it. We don't need to change anything. If we have a shoe pattern, then we can define her over here. Otherwise, we can leave it. We can to check on update, relevant your issue for all bills. Now we need to supply credentials for this. We need to supply the user and password. We need to specify the email address that we are going to use for login to Jira Cloud. Password is the API key that I copied from, from the token. And then I could be anything. I'm saying, uh, Jenkins Jira integration. So I need to add it from here. I need to select Jenkins Jira integration. This is the credentials. I need to validate the settings. If everything goes well, I can see the success now. I can save this. Next thing I would need to do is I need to go to my project that I gonna test with before that I create a ticket at least. So I'm going to create, go to my project and I'm creating a ticket. Jira and Jenkins with this ticket. As, I can assign it to me and then create, and now I need to note the ticket number, which is JJI1. Now I, need to go to the Jenkins. Jira that this is the project I am gonna use for update the tickets. The next thing, you could see the Jira sites. It all are automatically available. If you have multiple sites, it will be listed in this particular drop down. Next thing I need to add some post selection, so I'm saying update the ticket. In the selector section, I need to select the explicit here. I need to specify the ticket number that I would like to update. And then I just need to save it. After this, I need to go to the build and click on the build. Now, if I go to the console output, it says updating issue, JJI1. If I go to the ticket, which is JJIONI, 
So here is JJI1. So from here, I can see that. Message from Jira. And if I clicked over here, I will be redirected to the build that sent actually the message to the Jira. So, this is how you can integrate your tickets. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the lecture. If you have any question or any doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.